being a shy young fella that he was, and he didn't like to do hockey without his brother, um, once he made the commitment, with a little persuasion from his nana, and I could see that he really liked it, and he liked, liked to compete with other kids. So I would, I would say, you know, right around minor Adam, it was, I could see he was really committed and, and wanted to be challenged all the time. Oh yeah, like as soon as the schedule came out, you know, he's eyeing up where we might be doing it and, um, you know, constantly asking me where it's going to be, what's going on. So uh, it's definitely something that's special to him and um, I'm sure all the dads, even the new dads this year, and, you know, it leaves a, such a fun vibe for them to come to and, and see what their sons are involved with and, and where they work every day, what they're eating, what they're, where they're hanging out. Like, my dad thought it was cool just seeing the, the hot tub and cold tubs, like what we do after practice. He thinks it's so cool that we're, you know, hanging out at the rank and being together. So those things that he can, you know, put his mind at ease when he's thinking of me and what I'm doing, it's uh, definitely pretty special. Obviously being a long way from home, it's uh, not the easiest trip to make out. So, you know, there's only one or two a year, but, uh, you know, obviously Hexy's kind enough to let the dads come in and be a part of it. And, with my dad being here for the third year, I think he was pretty comfortable and understands, you know, how things work in the behind the scenes. And I know for me this year, I enjoy, you know, some of the first year guys and um, the dads that you don't know as well. And this is their first crack at it. Um, it's exciting to see that. I think um, it's important for everyone to kind of see what goes on the day in and day out. I think most people just see, uh, you know, guys making millions of dollars and on TV every couple nights, they don't realize what the day to day is like and the meetings and getting yourself ready to play every night. So, um, you know, for me, it's very special. I think, uh, you know, I don't know if they do it in other sports. Obviously, there's uh, other teams that do it, but it's a pretty cool week. Actually, it was funny because when he was young, he was, he was like, I wouldn't say dominated, but he was always, I think a lot of it was because I had the outdoor rinks. So he was so much better early, like, you know, even six, seven, because he could skate ahead. And obviously, you know, the better you are, the more have, more fun you have because you're scoring goals, you're involved, right? So when he was young, he was he was always definitely involved. And and then it kind of got up to Pee Wee or whatever. And then a little bit of a size caught up to him. He was a little smaller. But he always, what kept him, I think, kept him going was he was always had the feel for the game, like the hockey sense. So even though he was a little smaller, he, you know, he didn't dominate, but he was still a good player. Yeah, and he basically just stayed with it. I think the first thing that comes to mind is uh, my dad building backyard rinks for me. Um, you know, he built a couple houses, but uh, the house that they're in now was probably one of the first in the neighborhood. So it started all behind the house, it moved across the street and then up the road for many years. So, you know, when I think back to starting hockey, obviously for me, that's where it started with my dad and, you know, even my sisters once in a while out on the rink and then it grew into a neighborhood thing and kind of blossomed from there. Oh, well, he started out as a defenseman like playing minor hockey or whatever like whenever he starts as soon as he started to rep like Adam 9 10 was Adam and uh, so when he was nine he was one of two nine-year-olds playing against ten-year-olds and he'd always get picked up in the summer so he was always you know for his age group he was always the top one or two for Prince George for sure so you, you could see it then that you know he just liked the game and he just kind of stayed with it right you know, when I was 9, 10, 11, I played on some traveling teams in spring hockey where, you know, I'd pay, play up an age group. And then, uh, you know, I think once I reached, you know, Bantam and Midget, I didn't quite keep growing like the rest of the kids. So, you know, I became a smaller kid and didn't make a few of the top end teams. And, you know, I think that's kind of where my hard work and dedication to hockey came in and, you know, kind of pushed me over the hump a bit. You know, it pushed me to junior and gave me a bit of edge and, you know, I had to change my game a little bit. And, you know, from there, it was something that I just kind of had to work at and keep going until, you know, I got older and, you know, the same thing I have to do every day now. Yeah, we got G and the, uh, where's G? Oh. <laughs> 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 From PPG 
Paints Arena in Pittsburgh. It's the Flyers and the Pittsburgh Penguins as the two division rivals meet for the first time this year. Don, there's connecting. Back down low. Raffle gets it out. Manning, he'll take the shot. Score! It got cut up in traffic. Connecting was there. I'm not sure if it bounced off of him, but it crawls across the line. And the Flyers finally get a bounce. It's 2 1 Philadelphia. It's exactly what he needs to do. I know just from being around this a few games and being a fan how exceptional the goaltending is, the defensemen, and listening to about the skills, the stick skills and all that. So to get a goal, you know, like a garbage goal or whatever, it doesn't matter. He had to work for that and uh, that's what counts. And I, and I think uh, Coach Hackstall made comment, you know, that's the kind of goals they need right now, especially this time when they're struggling a bit. Whatever goes in, if you're going hard than that, that's a good goal. And that, I think that's just work ethic, so that's all good. The league is so good, and uh, you know his teammates are so good. You know whoever he's competing for that five, six spot, whatever. They're they're all good hockey players. That's why they're here, right? So yeah, you, you might have one bad game, but you, you got to be steady. You got to come to play. And these guys, you know, they got to look after themselves. So they're ready to go after you know playing last night and tonight. It's not easy, but they got to find a way to do it. Line, Chris Letang winds it, fires, they score, Crosby at the side of the net, tips it in, it's an even strength goal as the penalty had just expired, and the Flyers lose another one in overtime, as the Penguins come back for a 5-4 victory. Uh, it's obviously, it was like a really tough way to lose a hockey game, but, you know, they come one time, the dads only get to enjoy being on the bus, being in the locker room one time, so... Um, you know, a lot of the guys are pretty good about it, like we're still bummed out, but we, you know, put on a still happy face and we're, you know, letting them do their thing, hang out after the game and uh, on the bus, on the plane, so, um, you know, it's definitely not what we wanted, you know, it wasn't like the fun uh, music and everything, but, uh, you know, we tried to enjoy it still. The puck seemed to follow him around a lot, he seemed to... Uh you know, beginning goals and, and all that kind of stuff. But he was just a step ahead, and he seemed to be understanding what was going on and where he had to be. He was just a little bit ahead, a little bit advanced that way, and it just kind of continued to progress throughout his young life. Originally, I didn't want to play hockey. I, I, you know, was nervous to meet people. I wasn't very social. I Probably now people wouldn't believe me because I won't shut up. But uh, back then, I just, I, I just, was nervous to meet everybody. I, I was uncomfortable on the ice, and um, anyways, my parents ended up just signing me up for hockey, saying, you know, let's go. And then after the first day, I just fell in love with the sport, and uh, you know, then came many sticks and road hockey, and everything just came together, and, and that's how I started. Well, he he was definitely athletic and competitive. So, regardless of what sport he played, he wanted to excel at it, and he wanted to get better. But um, growing up, we didn't allow them to do basically whatever they wanted. We had to pick and choose because we were busy financially, all that kind of stuff. The kids don't understand, but when he played sports, uh, he was competitive and he was normally pretty good at whatever he wanted to do. My brother was always a good hockey player. He was older than me, and we, I always played two years up, so I played with him. So I always enjoyed that and wanted to keep doing that. And then uh, my dad, he was a pretty good hockey player, played a little bit of junior. And uh, so I think those two things pushed me to want to be a hockey player. Well, I think in a way, as long as um, an athlete or a person understands adversity, they can channel it for energy or improving people wrong. And as much as he's a lighthearted, fun person, he's very competitive. And uh, size was never, in his mind, an issue. And he wanted to prove the world or the hockey world in this instance wrong. My dad's always been one that never gave up on anything. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we did a little thing for him and be becoming a firefighter, like, that was pretty cool. Uh, and it shows, like, where I get a lot of my, you know, uh, I guess traits as a, a character traits. Like, he, he's determined in whatever he does, whether it's work, whether it's, uh, you know, cooking dinner, I don't know what, you name anything, like he wants it to be perfect in everything he does, and I think that's a lot of where I get my stuff from, and it comes a lot from my par from both my parents, like my mom's the same way, and my brother as well, so. Um, it, it definitely helps when you have a house full of 
you know, the, the, those kind of character traits, and then it rubs off on you for sure.